First, we open the terminal to check if Java is already installed. We type Java version and press enter. The terminal responds with a message saying Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, which means Java is not currently installed. Next, we check the Java compiler by typing Java key version. Again, we see a message saying Java SAC is not recognized, confirming that the Java development kit JDK is not installed either. <laughs> so to install the Java JDK, we open a web browser and type Adoptium into the search bar, then press enter. In the search results, we look for the link that says Adoptium Home. Make sure the website domain is adoptium.net and then click on that link. Now we're on the official Adoptium website. We scroll down just a little bit and we see a section that says Download Temurin 21 for Windows X64. We click on the button that says Download Temurin and the download begins. Once the setup file is finished downloading, we go to our downloads folder and locate the installer file. We double click it to start the installation. In the installation wizard, we click next. Then we accept the license agreement and click next again. On the next screen, which asks about the installation scope, we select Install for all users of this machine. Then we click Next. On the custom setup screen, we leave everything as it is and click Next again. Now we click Install and the installation process begins. Once the installation is complete, we click Finish. To verify that Java was installed successfully, we open the terminal again and type Java-version. This time, the terminal shows OpenJDK version 21.8 with a release date of 2025 Joe 715, and it indicates that it's an LTS, long-term support version. That confirms that the Java JDK has been successfully installed on the system.